Hey everybody, this is Eric Parker with One Number. Thanks for dropping by our YouTube channel. Uh, as a lot of you know, I teach classes, I work on projects, do all kinds of things. And so what I wanted to cover in today's video was to look at some different ways of sorting your data in Tableau. We'll start with some, some kind of simple stuff like, oh, well, you just click on the axis and sort, and we'll get into some more complicated things as well. Uh, for instance, when you're trying to sort and things don't seem to be going in the order you want, what can you do about that? Uh, so you can see on my screen here, we're going to look at uh, six different ways that you can sort dimensions in a Tableau worksheet. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to get kicked off with doing a manual sort. And the data set that I've pulled together for our examples today is just looking at some Olympic medals data. Um, I'm just going to show you the data, uh, what's going on behind the scenes here for a moment, just so you understand the structure. So you can see the columns there, athlete, country, sex, sport, gold, medal, silver, bronze, total, age. That's pretty much it, right? Uh, so let's say that I'm just looking at, hey, which countries uh, got the most medals, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag country onto the row shelf, and then I'm gonna drag total, total medals, onto the column shelf, all right? So the default sort order of this dimension and most dimensions in Tableau is that they will default sort to be alphabetic. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, you can just see that this is going country name. Uh, I have to draw my arrow backwards because that's how this tool works. But you can see it starts with Australia at the top and then goes down to United States at the bottom. So let's say just kind of a one-off deal. I want United States at the top of my worksheet. You know, great. I can go ahead and just grab the United States and drag it to the top. So that would be the first thing that you would see. All right, so you're always welcome to just manually sort things. One thing to know about that though is it's basically just a one-time, one-off change. If anybody uses any other sort of sorting capability, United States won't come back to the top, you know, unless they were the highest number or the lowest number, right? I'd have to manually drag United States back to the top to get it up there again, okay? So if you always want the United States to show up at the top, you could change the default sort order of your field. The way that that works is I would go to the country field in my data pane. I'm gonna hit the drop down next to that field after I've selected it, go to default properties, and then choose to sort. Okay, so instead of doing the data source order, which is in our case, alphabetical, I'm gonna choose to do a manual sort. And then from here, I can say, great, well, United States, let's send that to the top. And of course, I could do other, you know, resorting here if I wanted to, but for our simple scenario, we're just trying to put our home country, United States, first. I understand a lot of you are probably not in the United States, and that's great too. And United States doesn't even have the most medals. You yeah, know, that makes you feel better. All right, there you go. So now United States is just gonna show up at the top every time. So you might be thinking like, when would I ever really wanna change my default sort order? Um, I can give you an example just from this last week. I'm doing a order of t-shirts for my family and I'm getting different order sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. Uh, and I wanted them to show up smallest to largest. So S, M, L, X, L. Uh, well, Tableau kept sorting them alphabetically, which meant that it was going low to B. M, no, I already messed up. L, M, S, X, L, I think. And it was just really annoying to have to keep resorting them. So I went into the t-shirt size, edited it, and sorted them uh, in the order that I wanted them to keep showing up in. So kind of a silly example, but I'm sure that a lot of you can kind of find examples like that in your workplace as well. All right, a toolbar sort. Uh, this is probably one of the main ways that your end users would end up sorting your data. So if we're looking at country and total medals, uh, toolbar sort is when you are hovering over your toolbar and you see this little sort icon just to the right of your axis label. So I guess you could also call this an axis sort. Um, oh, actually, I spun them around. A toolbar sort is actually these buttons up here on the toolbar. So for a toolbar sort, that's something that we have available to us as Tableau desktop developers. Um, and maybe somebody in editing mode on Tableau server or Tableau reader would have this toolbar as well. This is what I gravitate toward using when I'm just doing some quick analysis of my own data. Okay. So 
Now we're ready for axis sorts. We'll take uh, country to rows, total to columns. Our end user likely not going to have that toolbar at the top because they won't be in Tableau desktop, in which case their sorting is going to be uh, the sort icon off of a toolbar. Also, you can sort based on a dimensional label as well. So that's more alphabetical, whereas this sort is more based on the measure, you know, high to low, low to high. And it actually toggles through three different options. So let's just take it from the top. Default, that's option number one. In our case, alphabetical, except United States at the top because we changed the default. Descending, meaning high to low. Ascending, meaning low to high. You hit it again, goes back to default. All right, so there may come times when you want to sort on a secondary field. So what I mean by that is, let's look at total metals by country one more time. Actually, maybe two more times, we'll get to that. And color it based on which countries won the most gold medals. Let me pick a more fitting color palette here, something more along the lines of a gold scheme, kind of orange, but it'll work. So if I did a descending sort based on total metals one, you can see Canada, most metals, they're also the darkest, so probably the most gold. But then you start to get into some interesting, um, some interesting kind of scenarios here where you can see that like Sweden and Norway, Sweden has the longer bar, but Norway's is darker. So the age old Nordic rivalry rears its head again. And Norway, I think actually has more gold medals here. Now we can find out quickly. So Norway, 36 medals, 18 gold. Sweden, 51 medals, but only eight of them gold. So if I wanna sort this based on who has the most gold medals, a couple ways of doing that. Here's my quick hack. I'm gonna throw gold next to total on columns. I'm gonna sort on the gold field, and then I'm just gonna take gold off of columns. So now it's sorted high to low for gold. It's not super obvious to our end user, right? They might sort of intuitively figure out this is high to low, but even just trying to figure out why are the bars not aligned with the color and what's going on. This is where I usually like to add some visual cues for my users. Uh, so what I mean by that is I'm gonna go ahead and change the title here and I'll say um, total metals by country, uh, sorted by most gold. So then just to kind of get this to align with what I'm gonna end up doing with the labels. I'll do something like this. So the title now, total metals by country, parentheses, sorted by most gold. And then what I'm gonna do with my labels is I'm gonna, I'm using the control drag trick here. So I'm gonna put both total and gold on label. Then hit the uh, little buttons next to text in the label tab in the marks card. And I'm gonna put gold in parentheses after total. And I'm just gonna match exactly what I did up there at the top. So I had gold italicized and made gold colored and I had total bolded. So now hopefully those extra visual cues help my end user out. A uh, Couple notes I wanna make about this one before we go into our last example. Our first note would be you can see that our country field has some sort of customized sort associated with it because there's a sort icon next to that pill. I can actually hit the drop down on country and select sort to see what's going on behind the scenes here. And you can actually create custom sorts from within this dialog as well. So my quick workaround is drag the gold field out, hit the axis sort, take it out of there. But we could have done that from here as well. We could have said, hey, let's do a nested sort and let's do it descending based on this gold field. So that's great too. So one other thing I wanna point out about doing sort of a secondary sort like this, the one bummer is if somebody toggles this sort off, they can't easily get back to it. What I mean by that is if somebody's like, oh, well, what was the total metals sort? All right, cool, let's get back to sorted by gold again. None of the buttons are getting them back there. The only thing that could get them back to being sorted on most gold to least gold would just be hitting the back arrow and getting their way back. So that's maybe not super ideal from an end user uh, experience. So that's actually gonna sort of be covered in the next section. 
The last thing I want to point out that you could do with sorts is to actually do some of your own sorts, customized, you know, doing uh, a rank that's hidden in the background, for instance. So that last example would probably be, I mean, I guess that would be a good example of where you might want this. So if I had, again, country on rows and then total on columns, right? So originally it was just colored based on who had the most gold medals. And I guess I gotta go through this whole hoopla again, of pick at the gold, uh, gold color scheme. All right, so if I wanted to store on the gold again, you know, I'm gonna go through all of that. What if I wanted to give my end user custom, uh, the customization to be able to say sort on total or gold or silver or bronze, and they get that end level of control? That could be kind of cool, right? And that's something that I will do pretty often. Users want to have more control over what's sorted on. And to be honest, a lot of people that use Tableau don't even realize that there is a sort button on the axis because it's pretty small and subtle, which is nice from a design standpoint, but maybe not always great from an end user interactivity standpoint. So check this out, here's something I will do. I'm going to create a new parameter, okay? And this parameter, I will just call this sort by, okay? If you're in an older version of Tableau, I think I'm in 20, 21.1, two, something like that. So your dialogue might look a little different, but you should be able to create the same thing. Uh, data type, I'm just gonna choose string to keep this simple. And I'm gonna create a list. So the options that you can sort on would be total, gold, silver, or bronze, right? Just keep it simple, just those four. I'll hit okay. Notice that the parameter now showed up at the bottom of my data pane in this parameter section, sweet. We're gonna hit the drop down next to sort by and say show parameter, okay? And in and of itself, a parameter is just a customizable uh, list of options that an end user can interact with, choose from, input into, but they don't do anything until you've tied them into a calculation or a filter. So notice that I can change the sort by drop down all I want. It's not doing anything. So now I'm gonna create a calculated field and I'll call this our sort by field. And then we'll say this, I'll say case sort by. You haven't used case before, it's a conditional statement. Works a lot like if then. When total, then total. When gold, then gold. I think you get the idea of where this is going, right? Just matching up the labels that we gave with the fields and I've given them names so that they're very easy to match. Okay, and that alone might be enough. I could probably just use this as our ranked field, but just to keep it super clean, a lot of times what I like to do is something like this. I'm going to add a rank unique to the sum of metals. So what does that do or what does that mean? Well, the sum of metals, instead of just giving me, you know, well, I guess, first of all, I'd have to say, what is the aggregation? So am I looking for the sum of Canada gold medals? Am I looking for the average? What are we talking about? And then the second thing is rank unique doesn't allow for ties. So if there happens to be two countries that have the exact same number of gold medals, it's just gonna force one of them to be third and one of them to be fourth, for instance. Um, and it just does that, I think, alphabetically. It'll just prefer the first one alphabetically. So sort by field, we're almost there. I'm gonna put this on the marks card. Hit the drop down next to that sort by field. Change it to discrete. And then I'm gonna put it before, very important, before country on labels. So now you can see right now it's just ranking based on the lengths of the bars because total is selected in our parameter. If I change that to gold, for instance, now you can see it just reconfigured a little bit, right? Canada stayed at the top. Uh, but you can see, for instance, like Norway and Sweden, they're in different spots. Previously, Norway was not third, and now it is, and Sweden got bumped all the way down to seven. And similar, if I'm to look at like silver, well, Sweden, part of the reason that they have so many medals, but not so many gold, well, they, they won the most silver medals. Then we could go to bronze, and the United States did win at something, most bronze medals.
okay? Your end user never needs to see this sort by field, so I can just right click on the sort by field on rows, deselect show header, and maybe one of the best parts about doing this is just the fact that now <laughs> nobody can mess this up. They can't click on the sort icons and screw it up. Nope, that sort by field is controlling the sort. And this is what your end user would use going forward. You could bring this parameter into a dashboard so that they have that very obvious drop down to sort with uh, instead of having to figure out where that little icon is. So thanks for following along. That's a deep dive into different types of ways of sorting in Tableau. And we look forward to catching you on another video here soon.